Hi everybody, I'm Miss Erin. I'm here to read you another story today. It's called The Biblio Burro by Jeanette Winter. It's a true story from Colombia. Colombia is a country in South America. So, if you speak any Spanish, you might know what this is already about. Don't tell anybody until we share together. Deep in the jungles of Colombia, there lives a man who loves books. His name is Luis. As soon as he reads one book, he brings home another. Soon the house is filled with books. <laughs> Look at that. His wife, Diana, grumbles. What are we going to do? Eat books with our rice? Luis thinks long and hard. At last, an idea pops into his head. I can bring my books into the faraway hills to share with those who have none. One burro can carry books, and another burro can carry me and more books. Luis buys two sturdy little burros. He names them Alpha and Beto. He climbs crates to hang, sorry, he builds crates to hang on their backs and paints signs. Biblio Burro, the Burro Library. Then Diana fills the crates with books. Every week, Luis and Alfa and Beto set off across the countryside to faraway villages in the lonely hills. This week, they travel to El Torbento. When the sun burns high in the sky, Luis and the Budo stop at a stream to drink the cool water. After they have their fill, Beto box. Box means he's afraid and doesn't want to move forward. Luis pulls and pulls on Beto's reins, but Beto won't budge. The children are waiting for us, he says. At last, the Budo gives in and steps across the stream. Deep in the hills, the path is lonelier than ever. Bird songs are the only sound they hear. Then from deep in the shadows, a bandit leaps out. Please, let us pass, Louis says. The children are waiting. The bandit scowls at the books. He takes one and growls, next time I want silver. It's not nice. The Biblioboro continues on its way over the hills until at last Luis sees houses below. The children of El Tormento run to meet him. Look at that. He's bringing them books. Luis insists on reading a story before they choose books to borrow. Today I have a surprise for you, he says. <gasps> Look at those masks. He reaches behind the books and pulls out a bundle of masks, little piglets. Put on a mask and I'll read you a tale about pigs. Once upon a time. What story do you think he's reading? There's a wolf and three, three houses, a pig flying and a brick house. Hmm, I bet you know. When the story ends, it's time for everyone to choose a book. The children hold their books close as they say goodbye and walk home. Luis and Alpha and Beto head back over and around the hills, across the grasslands and streams, and into the sunset. At home, Luis feeds his hungry burros, and Diana feeds her hungry husband. But then, instead of sleeping... <laughs> Luis picks up his book and reads deep into the night. And far away in the hills, candles and lanterns burn. Do you see? It's nighttime, but their lights are still on. As the children read borrowed books deep into the night, too. So that's the end. But this is based on a true story about Luis Soriana. Uh, he lived in La Gloria, a remote town in northern Colombia. 
He was an avid reader, and he understood the transformative power of reading because of his own experiences as a teacher. He wanted to share his collection of books with the children and the adults in all the isolated villages in the distant hills. Most houses had no books at home. So Luis and his two burros began bringing books to the villages in 2000, the year 2000. He started with a collection of 70 books that today has grown to over 4,800, mostly from donations. Now the Biblio Burro travels to the hills every weekend. 300 people, more or less, look forward to borrowing the books Luis brings, and a small corner of the world is enriched. I love this story because I, too, think that reading can change lives and change people. That was written 10 years ago, so imagine what good the Biblio Burro has done by today. So... I hope reading has changed your life as it's changed mine. I'll see you soon.